Hello everyone, and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. I was browsing Snapchat's official lenses a couple days ago, and I saw a lens that I can only attribute to something out of one of my nightmares. Um, and I'm kind of trying to recreate it here, but basically the effect is that it smooths out the person's face completely, so it like removes like their eyes and their mouths, and then you, it puts face insets over it in this really creepy way. Um, let's, I mean, <laughs> let's make this guy open his mouth and, oh my god. Yeah, this is, this is just like the face that would be staring down at me when I wake up with sleep paralysis. Um, anyways, this tutorial is going to go over how to make this. <laughs> so let's start a new project. And we're not going to save this because, oh my god. Um, alright, so the first thing we're going to do is actually create a face texture, and you will see why in just a second, because we're going to next create a face mask, and what we're going to do is basically, we're going to take this face texture sample and we're going to put it in this face mask. So when we do that, it kind of just <laughs> looks really weird basically. Um, all you have to do is scale down the X and the Y values on the face texture so it basically takes like a really small area in the skin and just stretches it out and you can kinda tell that first the mouth is being drawn still and you can see part of the eyes so what we need to do is get a different opacity texture one that covers the mouth too and I guess we can just go we haven't really gotten that far into this, so we can just go right to that template first. So it's in face, and it's called photo. So let's just save this. We'll just call this nightmare. And go into the photo template. And you'll see here we have a bunch of resources under the folder opacity textures. So the opacity textures are a way for us to determine what is changed by the image and what isn't. So in this case, we would want the full with nothing on there. So we would just export that. I already have. And then we'll just go back to that project. And then we'll go back to that face mask and let's load that in as the opacity texture. OK. And then let's just move these eyes down a little bit like that. and then. Maybe move them inward here, and that'll kind of take them out of the face. So now we have this blank face, which is just creepy in itself. Like if we turn on a video, oh, the mouth's still being drawn. Yeah, so if you click draw mouth here, that will cover that up as well. And now it's just, oh god. After this, what we could do is uh, start adding other effects. So I'm going to add like a face stretch in here. Let's start messing around with that, maybe stretch it out a bunch, like horizontally, and then move it in this way, and then we can add some insets, so we get the mouth one, we'll put that like right here, stretch that out, and then we'll add some eyes. So we will click this face and set, and we'll change the region to left eye. And I'm just going to keep it at that small size, because that's what's so eerie about this, is like the big mouth and the tiny eyes. And then we can just duplicate this, change this to right eye, and then just move it over here. And yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's basically it. It's, uh, oh god, uh, have fun.